G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this video, we are gonna take a look at how we can vibe code or vibe our way through creating a survey using the new surveys agent in Microsoft 365 Copilot backed by Microsoft Forms. So let's take this for a spin and see what we can actually do with this agent. Now, you can see that I've got the agent open. Uh, it is part of the Frontier program, and I'm just gonna, going to simply use one of these predefined prompts here and to get started. So I'm going to create a customer feedback survey. So we can see when I click that, it's a starter prompt. The prompt is added to the, the chat box. Um, chat box here. So create a customer feedback survey to measure satisfaction and feedback from my business. Uh, Contoso dessert tours. Please include MPS and open-ended questions. All right, so natural language, let's see what we come back with, all right? So agent going off, thinking about the prompt and then getting itself sorted to then create a survey and a Microsoft form in this canvas here too, all right? So here comes back here, we've got our drafted uh, customer feedback survey, survey's ready. There's the link to the survey. You can see it's giving us a, a summary. We've got our survey highlights and also some suggested next steps. But I wanna open up this survey and have a look before we send it out. So we can see we've got, um, we've got how many questions we've got? We've got eight questions here, but what if we wanted to change this up a bit, all right? So what if we wanted to just chat with our agent here to maybe add some questions or change the format of some of some response uh, types here too. So maybe I want to add a first name, last name to the start of this survey, all right? Uh, can you please add uh, a question at the start to allow the user to enter their first and last names. Again, spelling's not 100%, but hey, it's AI, it knows what I'm talking about, surely, right? So working away here. So this is kind of like this concept of vibe working that's doing the rounds at the moment that is coming to, to Word and Excel too, right? So um, here, let's have a look and we can uh, update it. Let's just have a look and see what our updated form looks like. Here is our first and last names, all right? We've got question number two here as well, and it's looking pretty good, all right? So what if we wanted to maybe say, change this question number two? So this is a drop down, right? So uh, can we please change question two uh, question two, uh, question two, to allow the user to select multiple, uh, multiple options. And we will hit send, all right? So again, what we wanna hopefully get here is this question number two, rather than having one, we want to make that so that a, a user can select multiple choices, right? So you can see here, multiple answers uh, has been selected and that looks pretty good to go as well, all right? Now, what about number three? Um, let's say what other question uh, types uh, can we use for question number three, all right? And so at the moment, we've got our star ratings. So from very dissatisfied to very satisfied. So what if we say, um, let's make this a single choice, right? Can we make that a single choice, please? So you can see here that we're working along with our agent and we're creating our form as we go, right? So if you're familiar with things like vibe coding and that type of thing, then this is probably pretty familiar because we're, we're iteratively changing this just by chatting to our agent, all right? So we're looking pretty good, okay? So let's leave that there for now. I think you get the idea of, of what that capability is. Now, what about if we want to send this, all right? So uh, can you help uh, me now send this to Frankie at the copilot, stu uh, the copilot studio.com, all right? Now, let's see if we can actually send this. 
So again, I'm just asking the agent, can we send it to somebody? All right, and let's see. So we're coming back, thinking about it. We're good to go. Let's see if this agent can actually send this across to Frankie, all right? We're thinking, we're thinking, we're thinking. Here's the invitation. Let's have a look. Uh, we're about to send it. Let's let's have a look at the draft email. So we'll value, value your feedback and this looks good. And let's go send it now, okay? So send it now, let's go. Now, I've got Frankie's uh, email open up over here, all right? So let's see what happens. So, well, I just heard a bing, all right? So let's have a look over here. It says it's successfully uh, sent, and there it is, right? So the survey agent has actually sent this email as well, right? So I can click, take the survey. It opens up the form directly for me, all right? So this is logged in as Frankie. I'm received it, and now I can send this out. All right, so I can go Frankie Anderson, and there's my choice columns, uh, my drop down. There's my single option, and I've got that survey sent and done. All right, all by using natural language and talking to the survey agent and going through and creating that form. All right, so your first look at Vibe working and being able to let's say vibe create a form inside of Microsoft Forms, all right? Thanks for watching. Hope that brings you some value. See you in the next one.